How's it going guys, this is Slade here bringing you IPBL season number one, week number three team builder. This week we are going up against the Buffalo Drills, coached by uh, Shady Mexican, so that's interesting. And uh, yeah, I'll just go for his team, like I said, no layout, so I'm just gonna run through his team real quick, so make sure you're on your, make sure you got your listening ears on, alright? So he's got Landers, Therian, uh, Sylveon, Cortana, Protomosh, Entei, Hit One Top, Dragalge, Gligar, Meloetta, Sableye, and Agron. So he's got a few big threats there, actually. He's got Landers, which is a pretty big problem for my team, actually. Um, <clears throat> because uh, it just it, it hits really hard, and it's, it's kind of a problem. We do have answers to it, though, definitely. But um, same with Cartana. Actually, Cartana, we have more answers to, but, to it, but because it's Rindo Berry um, Manaphy, but... You know, Landers is still a bigger threat because it not not a bigger threat, but it does get um, intimidate, which is a problem for some things on my team. So uh, yeah, he's also got uh, Entei, which could be a problem. Um, not really though. Uh, Agron could actually be an issue if he does bring it. Uh, you know, Meloetta could be something. You know, Dragalge maybe. I don't know, but he he does definitely have some things that uh, are a bit scary. Uh, so we have to watch out for that, but I, I think we built the, a, a proper team to take him on. So first up, we're leading with uh, Manaphy, Tailglow, Rindoberry. Rindoberry is obviously to take a Leaf Blade from Cartana. Uh, we should be able to take it just fine since we do have the Rindoberry and this uh, pinch of HP investment. We have Surf, Energy Ball, HP Fire, and Tailglow. Pretty standard, you know, whatever is what it is. We need HP Fire to hit the Cartana um, hard enough. Uh, we also want Energy Ball for Rotom Wash. And, uh, yeah, Surf hits pretty much everything else, like, whatever. We could have gone Signal Beam over HP Fire, maybe, but, you know, for the Meloetta, but it's, it's honestly fine. It is what it is, right? <clears throat> okay, so, uh, next up is Go Diego Go. <laughs> Go Diego Go. Our Dragonite, Ice Punch, Iron Head, D-Dance, and D-Claw. Uh, this thing can uh, outspeed, I believe it was, um, just max speed Cartana. You know, at plus one, once we get a plus one. We, have, we cannot speed the, the Cartana if he is max speed Jolly. Uh, if he's Scarfed or if he's Scarfed Lando, we can't outspeed it. Um, unless he has like no speed investment, but he obviously would if he was Scarfed. Um, but you know, we're, we're not going to prep for Choice Scarf. We're not going to put too much because I want the HP investment so that I can take um, like a Banded E speed better from Entei once my multi skill is broken. Or you know, some maybe like an HP, like a straight HP Ice possibly. That I might be able to take if my, even if my multi skill is broken. That's why I want the HP investment there. And then foreign defense, foreign special defense, whatever. We are adamant, so I mean, this set gets completely walled by Cartana, but once we get rid of Cartana, this thing really puts in the work. Um, we can have I, we, Ice Punch is nice for Landers and Gligar. His two Pokemon um, that are four times weak to ice, they're both flying in ground, so it's really useful to have that. And um, also, you know, Iron Head obviously for, for the Sylveon, and Dragon Claw hits pretty much everything else. Uh, I kind of overlooked uh, Cartana with this set, but I mean, I, I think, you know, I'd rather have something for Sylveon than Cartana for this thing. Because um, I can't really hit Sylveon otherwise. Whereas Cartana, you know, at least I can try to, if he's little, if he's really whittled, I can try to hit him with like a, hit him up with a nice punch or something. Do some damage. <clears throat> he won't be able to take me out with anything. Um, like Smart Strike would be his strongest move, and that's not going to take me out, so it's nice. Um, next up is Fortified, our Rocky Helmet, Stealth Box Trap. It's been Gyro Ball, Volt Switch, Fortress. Physically offensive, this thing literally just handles Cartana. I mean, it's here for Cartana. And it's also nice for Landers. We can take hits from Meloetta. We can take hits from uh, Sylveon. We can take hits from Dragalge, uh, and Gligar, and Agron, and, um, yeah, and hit him on top. Like, it's, it's pretty nice, actually. So, um, you know, the thing with Fortress is that it's very slow and it uh, doesn't have very much special bulk, which makes it very HP fire weak. Um, except if my opponent doesn't bring HP fire, if he brings HP ice instead for the Dragonite, because Dragonite's a bigger threat than Fortress, then Fortress can be, you know, kind of like a hidden gem and it could come through and uh, wall a lot of things because of that. Like, say he, he brings Dragalge, but he brings. Uh, well, not Dragalge, because he already have Dragon Sad. He'd probably bring HP fire if he brought Dragalge. But say he brings Mellow Wedding and brings HP ice. Instead of HP Fire, um, then Fortress completely walls it when I can just gyro ball away. So that's really useful. If he does bring HP Fire though, that means that Dragonite um, is in a better position to. to it, it, in fact, does, does Melon even get Ice Beam? I'm not sure. It might. 
but um, I'm not sure about that. If it did, then that would be a problem, because then he could run HP Fire and Ice Beam. But anyway, um, yeah, just physically defensive, gonna try to control hazards for the game. Next up is Alolan Muck, AV, Poison Jab, Knock Off, Brick Break, and Flamethrower. Flamethrower, obviously, for the Kartana, if I want to be able to hit that thing. Um, Brave Nick, I mean, we're just gonna hit hard with this thing, and AV is nice, because I wanted this thing to be able to soak some special hits from things like Rotomosh, Dragal, Dramelowetta, um, that's actually, and Sylveon, those are like literally the only special threats, possibly. And Sylveon's not really, unless it's like specs, but I doubt he'll bring that against my team. Because um, I have multiple things to take a hyper voice, you know. Uh, yeah, so, Alolan Muck just here. Just gonna try to do some work, you know. No Fee Berry, I just, whatever, you know. Um, this thing looks like it has a pretty decent matchup. Obviously, Landers is a problem, but, you know, it's all good. And, uh, yeah. Not much else to say about this, honestly. Um, I don't know. It, it, obviously, Flintor can hit the Kartana pretty hard. I didn't actually calc if it can kill it or not, but it, it might be able to. Cause actually, it probably would. Cause I mean, Muck's special attack is shit, but <laughs> um, Kartana's special defense is even more shit. So, who knows? Um, but yeah, with this thing, all I really have to work, watch out for is. Maybe like Banded Entei, that could be a problem. Uh, Landers, obviously. Ro uh, Willowis Rotom could be an issue. But honestly, like, I'm just gonna knock off Spam his team. And that should be really good. Because, you know, I don't really see, you know, obviously Gligar might be the switch in, but if I knock off the EV Light, that's why he might not want to switch into Gligar uh, if he does bring it. Because I can just knock, off, knock it off. And if he brings in, you know, pretty much anything, you know, if I get this thing all in. On Sylveon or Dragal or Meloetta, I'm just gonna click Knock Off, and I'm gonna do a lot of damage. <clears throat> so next up, we have Adrenaline Orb Lucario, first class. Uh, Lucario, I already said that. Okay, Nasty Plot, HP Ice, Flash Cannon, Orb Sphere. I really like this set actually. Uh, it looks like it should be able to put in a decent amount of work because um, once uh, the Adrenaline Orb basically is for two things: for Landorus and for the freaking. Uh, him on top because they both get intimidate and if you didn't know adrenaline orb is going to raise the holder speed by one if it gets affected by intimidate and this will get affected by intimidate so that's nice and i'm not even physically offensive i'm especially offensive i was actually going to run initially i was going to run an agility life orb set physically offensive um but i i decided not to do that because this set looks more promising i wanted another special attacker because he does have two intimidators and hit on top and landers um and it just looks like he has more sp um, <clears throat> physical bulk than special bulk. You know, with Cortana and obviously the two Intimidators could be physically offensive. Gligar could be physically offensive. Agron. Rotom Wash gets Will O Wisp. Sableye gets Will O Wisp. So it just felt like, you know, Sylveon was really only the special, the biggest special, especially defensive threat. And that's why Lucario with Flash Cannon is so nice. Because uh, we can really, I mean, if we get that plus one speed, we got to speed his entire team, barring Scars. It, as you can see, same speed tier as uh, Dragonite with 119. Again, to outspeed the Kartana. And if he doesn't have any Scarfers, um, then we're, we're pretty much good to, good to go. We gotta watch out for Mach Punch hit on top, but that's like it. So we should we should be good at that point. And obviously, like Banded E speed from Entei might do a lot, but we have a lot of HP investment, so it should be able to take that hit very easily um, because we do resist it. Obviously. Last but not least, we have physically defensive Rotom Heat. I was kind of debating on what I should bring was the last one. You know, I was thinking maybe Goldrick if I want to do some uh, shenanigans. I don't, not even shenanigans, just being able to spin block him. But I, I mean, it didn't really make much sense since I already had Fortify, which is a great uh, hit one top switch in. I can just spam rocks on him, even if he's going for rapid spin. You know, we have the Rocky Helmet, which is nice. So I don't really want to go with uh, Goldrick. I didn't really need uh, Cradley. Um, you know what, what? I didn't really need Bisharp, so I just went with uh, Rotom Heat here. Charty Berry to take a rock type move. It's gonna <clears throat> half the damage of a sim of a super effective rock type move. Um, so that's nice. So I can take like a Stone Edge from Landorus. Uh, I can take a Stone Edge from Entei. I can take a Rock Slide maybe from Gligar. Ag it's nice for Agron as well. We get Will O Wisp, uh, HP Ice, Volt Switch, and Overheat. This thing is very useful because even though it does kind of get walled by uh, Sylveon. We can still get the Will-O-Wisp off, and that's going to be really nice. Um, and this thing can really wall a lot of this team. You know, Kartana gets actually completely walled by this thing. Um, you know, it just it just gets destroyed. Destroyed. You know, we have we have things for Kartana, right? We have this thing. We have Flamethrower on Muck, which is useful. 
We have Aura Sphere on the card if we do get the plus one speed. Because he's probably going to... He might bring Sacred Sword. If he does bring Kartana. Um, maybe not, though. I don't know. And then he, I have Fortress, which completely walls it. I have uh, Dragonite, which can take a hit. And, and he can't really fire back too hard. But if we get it Whittled, then Dragonite can just kind of come in. Um, but yeah, and then we had Rodan Heat. Like, I don't really know if he's going to bring Kartana. It's a huge threat. Um, if, it gets, if it gets, like, set up and shit. But I'm not sure if he's actually going to bring it. Because we have so many things to take it on. But I... I, I I, I might be I, I, I kind of what am I saying I guess I, I would say that I'd be surprised if he doesn't bring it because um, at the same time like I bought a team that can really handle Kartana and Landorus um, but that doesn't mean that my whole team like my whole draft of 11 mons can take on Kartana and Fortress or Kartana and Landorus so maybe he thinks that I'm not going to bring all of these mons to take them on right uh, but yeah, that's that's basically the team. I don't know why I rambled like that, but it's all good <laughs> So hope you guys enjoyed uh, the battle will be up the day after this one as long as I get this up in time um, So yeah, that's pretty much it um, We're gonna look to pick up another dub. It's gonna be great we're two and one right now Definitely want to go three and one and uh, you know, I just want to keep charging. Hopefully we're gonna win. Wait. No, we're one and one Why? I think yeah, we're not two and one I'm sorry, I, I got this confused with a different league that I'm not uploading in, because I'm in I'm in a different showdown league that I'm two and one in. But yeah, anyway, um, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.